are in the studios, the art studios, of muralist and sculptor Joe Brandman, where he makes all of the magic happen. Well, talk to me about working with the clay and, and with your hands. What is it about that that drew you in so much? Well, I actually knew I wanted to do sculpture ever since I was around 11 years old. I found some clay that my mom had or somebody had in the house and um, as soon as I started working with it, I knew that's what I wanted to do. It was a way to express myself, basically. I think it's a, a way of expressing ideas and feelings. And that the clay was the, the most easiest way for me to do that. And it was just there for me. It seemed like while the murals allowed Joe to connect with the communities outside, the sculpting allowed him to perfect the artist inside. <laughs> Murals, sculptures, quite different. Yeah. How did you transition into that? Uh, I had been teaching at a camp, a summer camp, and we had all this leftover ceramic stuff that the kids didn't take. And a bunch of us said, let's, let's put this up on the wall, let's make a, a mosaic. And we did, and I was really hooked. It was just like, wow, this is, I can do this as an artist. The first mural we visited was the renovated local mosque, the Al-Aqsa. Joe had led a group of local artists and children to create a truly collaborative work. Adeb Ibrahim, who works at the mosque, had more to say. People might not know why this would be an odd coupling from anyone looking on the outside. Kind of explain that to me. All right. Well, this is like a large Palestinian community. Yeah. And, um, you know, and a lot of people from the Middle East. It just happens to be one of the um, most ethnic Middle Eastern mosques in the city. Yeah. And so, um, you know, having someone like Joe Brenman, obviously Jewish, being one of the lead artists, um, everyone could see that he was dedicated committed to the community, mm -hmm. committed to the people. As murals are a public art form, onlookers always had the right to offer feedback, some pleasant and some not so much. I asked Joe how he felt. You're out on the street and people will comment and say stuff to you, and positive and negative, and it's a really very interactive way to work. I was working on a mural at a school in North Philadelphia uh, at Welsh School. A guy drove up to me on a Jeep and I thought he was gonna run right into me and jumped out of the Jeep and ran up to me and handed me a $20 bill. And he said, thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Joe explained that each art form is special in its own way and only by fusing it with one's own traditions a collaboration is born. What I learned in um, the Islamic uh, tradition is that they really want to fill the space with lots of patterns. So we actually invented these patterns and, and working with kids, we made all these tiles as well. These are all handmade. And these are all made, this is the back of a paintbrush. Oh, look at that. This is a, a faucet from a, um, <laughs> like a hose. This is the back of a magic marker, and this is a clothespin. It's taken me to a lot of places, including El Salvador, to the mosque, you know, here down the street, even though it's real close. It's like I'm following it in a way. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of following the art rather than the other way around. <laughs> 